Hey guys, it's Austin. Taking our little trip down here to Table Rock. Got down here in time to do a little bit of fishing this evening before uh, the sun goes down. Today's word of the day is windy and cold. Uh, it's like 40 degrees, 20 mile an hour winds. Water temperature is sitting at about 47 degrees. So we'll kind of see where they're at. But uh, I'll get a little bit of time here to throw the A-Rig, maybe rock crawler, throw a jig a little bit, check some channel banks, some secondary points, stuff like that, and uh, see what's going on. So stay tuned. Jerk bait, secondary point with some wind blowing on it. About, I don't know, probably 10 foot of water. He wasn't so far off the bank, so. Number two on a jerk bait. This time I got a smallie. Not a bad one. Same little point. Have I mentioned it's cold out here? Cold and windy? Barely 40 degrees and 20 mile an hour winds. I'm freezing my butt off. Little guy. Scales. Go. That's a nice one, huh? On a jerk bait. I had him had one slap at it. I don't know if it was him or not. And then uh, I cast it back up there and got him or her, I should say. 459 on the scale. It's a nice pre-spawn largey right there. Let's see if I can catch some more out of this little cut. See you later, big mama. Go spawn. There's the jerk bait I'm throwing. It's a LG bone color. Uh, it's a pretty marked up, torn up, missing a lot of paint, scratched up from uh, fishing the St. Lawrence River last summer. I probably caught at least 50 to 60 smallmouth just on this jerk bait. Still have the same hooks on it, I think. I actually got the middle hook, got one bar broken off right now, and I'm too cold to change it out. But uh, it's been working double time, so. As big as the last one, but a good one nonetheless. 356, not quite as big as the last one, but a pound shy, but still a nice one. I think there's going to be more fish on this bank. This one looks like he's a spot, but I think. Bad guy. Not quite as big as a large mouth, but a healthy spot. 245, not a bad one, not a bad one. That's keeper number four. Let's see if I can catch one more and see what my best five would go for. I'm basically just chasing the wind down these banks, and then when I get to like secondary point like this one, it seems like on the inside where like the wind's like pushing in into like the bends, that's where I'm uh, getting the best bites. The two biggest fish are come off basically identical um, setups. So hopefully there's some more in here. I see a sign over here for like a fishing tractor and uh, pretty much just mixed rock. It's like mixed chunk rock with pea gravel um, and maybe a few little bluff spots I caught some small ones on but the bigger ones so far seem to be on the, um, the mixed rock banks. So that'd be five keepers. Not bad for a little quick afternoon just coming down here on the jerk bait. So I think it might be the last one for the day. Uh, we'll see what I can get into tomorrow. Good morning. Here we are, Table Rock. We got Ryan and Nathan with hey guys, us today. Hey, guys. How's it going? Uh, I got out yesterday evening just to fish a little bit. Had a 
enough time to catch some keepers that went for like 15 and a half pounds or so. We're going to see if we can beat that today. Caught them all on a jerk bait. Uh, we're going to see what happens. Yesterday was super windy, cloudy, a big cold front moved in and it was nasty. Today is supposed to be like 50 57. Something. Wind out of the northeast at about 7 miles an hour. Weatherman Nate and uh, the sun be shining. So hopefully we get something going on and can at least get more weight than yesterday and catch a lot of fish. So stay tuned. So we had some camera malfunctions with the audio. As uh, first two fish of the morning, Nathan pretty much catches them back to back on a rig off a secondary point. Uh, tried throwing the jerk bait, could see him on live scope coming up and following it, but couldn't get him to commit. Uh, I think the big factor here was the mixed gravel. Uh, it's a nice transition, and that seemed to be holding a lot of fish. Got him now. Get back. Number three, went on a little dry spell, but uh, finally got a third one. Uh, I think we kind of matched what we did earlier this morning and uh, kind of went back to that after we tried branching out in some more stained water, came back to the clear water and caught one right out the gate. So we'll see if we catch a couple more. Yeah. Might have to swap over the old A rig, huh? I might have a fourth keeper. This one's going to be a little close. Number four, we're going to see if we got a fourth keeper. This one's a lot smaller, but uh, still fun to catch. I like the way you move. Bear down, bear down. Nope, too short. There he is. Hey! On a jerk bait. Oh, right now, he's going to be okay. short, I think. I've been trying all morning. I've been too stubborn to pick up an A-Rig. Number five, hooked up. Will we get our fourth keeper? Probably not. Chunky little spot. That is a fish. Nice. Swam right into me. That's a key. Here. I think. Yeah. yeah. Number six. Fourth keeper of the day. My sixth fish overall. This one barely is a keeper, but we caught a couple of them. Yeah. Got him. It's a largey. Nice you fit it real soft. Dang, nice one. Dang, Austin. That's a nice one. Might have There's a nice one on the A rig. Came back and hit it real soft, and uh, I thought it was kind of a rock, and then it pulled back over and felt it bump it again. Barely caught it, corner of your mouth on a little shad color. That's our head, too. 577, back to the depths. See you later. Wind blowing directly on it. Got him? Yep. Heck yeah. Molly. Small, small. Hey, skunks out of the boat, ladies and gentlemen. That's all you get. The other ones have to be under 18. That's a keeper spot. That's a nice spot. A nice spot. Knocking off my tour. Got a nice spot. Second one of the day. We'll wear up. It definitely beat our uh, two pounder. So... Yeah! Uh, I think I can train it. I don't think it's going to beat the three. Wait, what is it going to beat again? Three oh. Come on, beat it. Jesus, look at this. Oh, that's a fish. Hey. A little bitty small. Good job, Bobo. Bonked it off that rail. Tonked it off the rail, he says. I bonked it. Don't tonk, bonk. Bonk. There's a large difference. A tonk is a tink. A bonk is <laughs> really squaring it up. So, not a bad one on the A rig. Just a little empty. I like this. I like this. Hey, there you go. Got him? Yeah. He's on camera. The camera's on. Me. Go, oh, Ryan. Like or something. He's going to call. Maybe. Cold. It's got to beat exactly two, yeah. right? Got another one? Yeah. Damn. I got cool. <laughs> Never mind. Back stand down. Huge. Huge smally. Some more camera issues. Nate gets hooked up into a pretty nice one, and then Ryan ends up catching a nice one too right at the boat. These were both on a bluff end. Uh, we were trying something a little bit different, working our way up the lake a little bit, and seeing if we could get something going in a little bit deeper water. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Got him! Yeah! Short striped you. <laughs> Damn, he followed you all the way. That was all the way to the boat. Good job. These are the last clips with the messed up audio. Uh, not exactly sure what happened, but Ryan catches a pretty decent largemouth. It's hard to see with the sun glare. Then I end up catching a decent spot, except I didn't have the actual catching portion. More camera problems, I think. And then I catch just a small, short um, spot. So 
we'll get to the bottom of the camera issue so it doesn't happen again in another video. Definitely have to worry about it. Rig? That one may cool. We know where we're starting tomorrow morning again. Another nice spot. Getting pretty late, but a pretty good one on the day. Good morning. Good morning, morning everybody. Uh, day two. We'll see what we get into. Yesterday we had five. Our best five went for $18.99. Yep. Uh, today we got a little cooler start to the morning at a 33 degrees, and it's going to get up to 62 today with winds at about eight miles per hour out of the east so we'll see what happens uh, weather wise hoping for some warming water we were able to find some clear water and some stained water yesterday and we did much better in the clear but today hoping maybe the sun warms up that stingier water we might try to throw some rock crawlers and spinner baits in the backs of creeks and we'll see how that does for us first one of the day Typically, bad luck, but first cast. Got him? Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I bet it's at least four or something. Got my first nice fish of the trip on the A rig. Went to our same spot yesterday where Austin caught his five, seven, I think, or something. So, we'll weigh this one up and see. See how big she is. Uh, I got one. Yep. Boy, he ate, ate that funny. He ate it, swam with it. Little guy on a jerk bait up here in very stained water. Got him now. <laughs> Number two. Swim bait's about half the size as he is. Almost hooked up. All I had to do was sit down in the water. I told you. Wow. Third one of the day. This one's going to keep trying to build a better bag than what we got. Number three was our fourth keeper of the day. Today has been Quite the struggle bus, just to be honest. Hey guys, Nathan here. Uh, gonna come at you with a tip of the day here. We're talking about waypoints and the importance of uh, typing in a description so you know what waypoint is which, and so you don't just have a glob of waypoints and you can't remember what you marked or what kind of conditions you had while you had them. All right, so in order to mark a waypoint, you just hit this little flag button here on Lawrence. And if you are, if you don't have anything selected, like I think I did there, uh, so if, if I clear my cursor, we are the waypoint, so if you're over top of a brush pile, you hit your little flag, and you can pick what you want. So say we went over some brush, might pick a tree, say we went over some rocks, you might change to a rock pile, which I just clicked on, and so right there it says 654. So. That doesn't tell you a whole lot, so if you click on 654, it pops up right here. You can click on that. It goes in here and it tells you the coordinates and you can change the color and if you'd like to change your symbol, if you pick the wrong one, you can. But you can go in here to notes and I can type rock pile and then say we fished it on a northwest wind and say the wind was blowing at 15 miles per hour and you did well um, so just maybe make a note of that and then you hit save and then whenever it still says 654 but then whenever you come back to it in a year or next time you fish you be like well I can't remember how we did so you just click on it and then bam it tells you rock pile northwest wind 15 miles an hour and you just kind of build up a little little uh, memory bank of everything on your unit and it's a good way to um, collect data and just continue to have more and more spots to fish. So this has been my tip of the day. Hope you've enjoyed it. Yeah, my fifth fish of the day.
ladies and gentlemen, has been nothing but a grind for finding five fish today for us. I don't know what happened. Um, yesterday we really tore them, in, tore them up, and today is just the total opposite. And the only thing that I can think of is it got below freezing last night. So, but who really knows? Because otherwise, it would be blind, right? got him. That one made him freeze. He's gonna sure. cold. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, look at that. Run off. <laughs> Gotta get her back. Really don't know. Finally got a good smallmouth. Um, it's been a grind, but here just caught two fish back to back. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Sunday, March 21st. Fishing yesterday. Not quite as good as the previous day. Still ended up with a decent limit, I guess, if you go that route, but uh, don't let that fool you. We had to work for them. Yeah, it was definitely tough, guys. We uh, still had a bag just under 16 pounds, but that was an all-day grind, and it was just, I don't know what changed, if it was, uh, if it was it got real cold that night and it got below freezing, if it kind of cold snapped them or what. But today, um, it definitely did not get as cold last night. We got down to 43 degrees, and today it's going to get up to 67. We only got about a half day today um, due to driving back home, but we're going to have uh, wind picking up and partly cloudy skies, so hopefully we can get some different bites going. I'm going to be throwing the jerk bait around this morning. Probably will throw again the A-Rig and uh, maybe pick up that jig and scrub the bottom and see what we can find. But uh, stay with us on the water guys and uh, we'll let you know how we do. Oh that treetop. There they go. Back down they go. Damn fish. <laughs> A lot of trees here. Oh, got him. Woo nice. Ooh, nice one. Oh. Got him. That's a nice one. That'd be a money fish. For sure. Chasing the shad. That's our five pounder. We all caught a five pounder. Yay. Oh. I think it's pretty close if it ain't. Oh, you're getting them. Lucky. Number three. They like your color. Little guy. 